All right, so um, first off, I want to give all praises to Yah by Shem Yahusha and double honors to Apostles of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing work in truth and sincerity. Okay, I want to go in on this topic of Greeks and how it applies to um, basically, you know, the, the, the so-called children of Israel, you know, and how uh, our people you know, uh, started becoming Greeks, and uh, who Paul was sent out to go speak to, you know, um, a lot of guys out here, you know, they wrestle on the scriptures that uh, Paul uh, wrote, you know, and what Paul was sent to do from Yahabashim Yahusha, you know, and um, like, you got people out here who believe that anybody can be saved, um, or all the nations can be saved, I should say that. Uh, Cornelius is an Israelite, you know, as if Paul died for them, you know. Yahweh Shad, you know, sent, came here and he said that, you know, he's only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, you know. So the people that Paul went out to, he didn't contradict not one word that Yahweh Shad spoke. He went out and he spoke to the children of Israel. And anybody who doesn't see that, they're not deep. They're not men of the Lord, you know. And that's just as simple as that. But um, I wanted to go in on this topic, you know, because it's, uh, you know, circulating right now, you know. And it's been circulating for a minute. But right now it's uh, kind of hot and everything. But I wanted to go in on this topic about how you had Israelites calling themselves uh, Greeks. Um, is uh, it says, in those days, well, I'm Salakia. This is First Maccabees, one and eleven. It says, in those days, went there out of Israel wicked men, who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen, heathen, that are round about us, for since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. You know, so the thing is, right, that our people was always in captivity, you know, even still to this day, you know, people are in captivity and they, they love America, you know, the scriptures say nothing is new under the sun, you know, the same way that people are feeling remorse for the so-called white man and wanting to love them and being institutionalized, as you could say, is, is to put it in the better words, you know, it's the same way that things was going on back then, you know. So, uh, it says, so this device pleased them well. Now, mind you, it says wicked men out of Israel. Um, it says, then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. Whereupon they built the place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen and made themselves uncircumcised right this is not talking about you 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 get circumcised you cut your flesh off and then all of a sudden you just attach that piece of flesh that you just circumcised yourself with no that's not talking talking about that you know it says and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and was sold to do mischief. You know. So our people. They started following the ways of. These Greeks. Back then. You know. And they started teaching them. Okay this is what you're supposed to do. You know like you got a family. Probably end up with a woman. You know and then they teach that child. That hey, you're a Greek. Then they teach that, that child. Teach the next child that they're Greek. And then all, somewhere down the line. That child ends up forgetting that they was an Israelite. But um, I'm going to keep going. This is uh, 2 Maccabees 6 verse 1. It says, Not long after this, the king sent an old man of Athens to compel the Jews to depart from the laws of their fathers and not to live after the laws of their God. So the thing is, the Jews is 
Judah, which is the so-called or predominantly the, the African Americans, Levi, you know, the, the predominantly the Haitians, so-called Haitians, uh, tribe of Benjamin, which is the so-called West Indians, predominantly, you know, these people were called the Jews, you know, living in Judea, and they basically stopped following the customs that, and the laws that was given to the Lord, I mean, given to them from the Lord, and started following the laws and, and the ways of the heathen. But I'm going to continue. It say, uh, and to pollute also the temple in Jerusalem, and to call it the temple of Jupiter Olympias. And that in Gerizim of Jupiter, the, the defender of strangers, as they did desire that dwelt in the place. The coming end of this mischief was sore and grievous to the people, for the temple was filled with riot and reveling by the Gentiles, who dallied with harlots, and had to do with women within the circuit of the holy places, and besides that brought in things that were not lawful. The altar also was filled with profane things which the law forbiddeth. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feast, or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So, you know, our people started losing their ways. They started knowingly started doing this, you know. And, and as time went on, you know, like I said, that the children, you know, started following after the heathens. You know, same way that they got to this day. You know, you got people who, who want to be like the so-called white man. You know, the, the Edomites or any of these other nations out here. You know, you got our women who really want to be uh, Chinese people. You know, for some reason, Moabites, they want to be like them. You know, don't they wear the, the long hair? The long flowing hair, or, or of course that's a, a curse according to the scriptures, you know. But they they trying to be like them, blonde in their hair and everything like that, dyeing their hair different colors. You know that they want to be like them. You know why? I don't know why. That's just the way that it was set up. But the same way that they're doing that today, they was doing it back back in the day. But I wanted to go in on this right here. It says Greece. It, this is from the uh, Zandervan's Pictorial Bible Dictionary. It's only six dollars, you know. Uh, it's a good buy for anybody that uh, want to learn more or, or search more. You can get it from off of Amazon. Um, it says uh, Gre Grecia or Grecians, right? It say Grecia is Greece, the home of the Hellenes. Greek Greeks and Grecians, however, are to be distinguished. Greeks are generally those of Hellenic race, but the word may be used to indicate non-Jews, foreigners, and aliens. Grecians are Greek-speaking Jews, folks of dispersion from areas predominantly Greek. So the thing is, right, like if you read a lot of the uh, beginning of the apostles, you know, and, and who they were sent to, you know, it, it, it says dispersing, you know, and then this, this thing right here, you know, the, the, the Zanavan's Bible dictionary, it says the Grecians were Greek speaking Jews, folks of the dispersion, you know, so these people, they, they branched out, you know, and, and they went to Greek. Some of them went to Asia. Some of them went to different places. You know, and the, the the disciples, the apostles, you know, in the men of the Lord, they were sent out like Paul to go speak to these people who lost their ways. You know, so that's basically uh, how it how it started and who, you know, it was sent to, you know, because it was only sent to Israelites. It wasn't sent to Greek. I mean, the, 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 the heathen Greeks, it was sent to the Israelite who was calling themselves Greeks. Same way that you got uh, Israelites who call themselves uh, any of these uh, heathen names, you know, because uh, a so-called white man or Edomite can be from Jamaica and call himself Jamaican, 
you know? So it really don't matter. I could be from China and call myself Chinese. I mean, did that make me Chinese? No. They got a, they got their own bloodline, and that's just the way that the Lord set it up. But it says, uh, in the, in the, uh, I looked up the word Hellenist in the Bible Dictionary, and it says, Hellenist are non-Greeks who spoke Greek. A term usually, I mean, used especially of Jews who spoke Greek their tongue and with it often adopted Greek ideas and practices. So, as I read in the Apocrypha, you know, the people who were Israelites and they started practicing the the, the Greek ideas and the, 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 the practices or the weird crazy stuff that they used to do. Back then, they still doing this to this day, honestly, you know, and uh, I wanted to show this picture to show how the so-called Greeks are still here to this day, you know, but here, here for the picture right here, you know, I don't know if you can see it. But here you have. Salakia, if it's, hold on, if it's messed up, here you have so-called Greeks, you know, practicing the ways of, the same way that they was doing it back then. And what, look, what do I say? National Pan-Hellenic Council at the University of Central Florida, you know? So this is all reincarnated, regenerated. Nothing is new under the sun. You know? So anybody who doesn't see that uh, Cornelius is an Israelite, they're not deep, you know? Yahweh was only sent to the house seat, I mean, the lost Salakia, the lost seat of the house of Israel, you know? And and the only people that's going to get the, these scriptures are the Israelites. You know, you got people who look like they're Israelites, but they could very well not be an Israelite. You know, it don't go by your, 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 your the flesh and blood, you know. But honestly, the reason why our people are the way that they are and lost is because of the so-called white man, you know. Uh, uh, the, they're giving them the, 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 they're allowing them to do that, you know, and then our people willingly want to do that, you know, is with this so-called picture right here with the fresh and all the stuff that they do, you know, all the ideas and wicked stuff that they do in, in order to even be a part of it, you got to get hazed, you know, so with that, I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yah by Sim Yahweh Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and a sincere salawan to all the Aki out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Salawan.